Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 26, minimum deletions to make a way beautiful. So this one is a, is a greedy solution, greedy problem. So that's basically the idea is that um, the reason why greedy works is the more interesting part, if you ask me. So this is my code. I basically look at how many numbers I have to delete. If, uh, if this is on a even position, meaning that I've deleted, you know, and the, 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 the reason why this works is that if we deleted one number, then we have one shifted over and etc. So that's why this um, checks to see where it, whether this is on an even position. If it's an even position, you look at the next number, and if it is the same, then we delete one more. Um, that's basically the idea. And the reason why this works quite this way is because, um, and you can do it in another way, for example, with um, with with uh, a deck or something like that, so that uh, you know you can delete or some sort of things that let you delete numbers in the middle and then just keep track. But the reason why this works is because if you think about uh, a list of numbers, there is this idea of parity, right? Meaning that okay, you have these pairs of number and you have these pairs of numbers, and if you delete one, you shift them to the one, and then they may, you make them offset incorrect, or you know, so that they no longer match, so so to speak. And then if you delete two, then they match again. So that means that if um, that means that there's a, a sort of um, you know, like connectiveness between deleting a number and the numbers be, behind it, and this is basically how it goes. And of course, here it's just checking that if if we remove the numbers and there's still an odd number um, of count total, then we need to remove one more number, which is probably just the last number. It doesn't really matter. Um, I guess the last number is always going to be good because it's the last number. So that's basically the idea here. And that's basically it. And as you can see, this is linear time, constant space, pretty tight. Um, I was pretty happy about the solution um, because it does require some insight about, like what I said, with parity, right? And parity is just the movement of these, like, um, you know, like how these numbers uh, interact with each other as you kind of move them left and right. Meaning that, for example, if there's a number in between this one and two, um, then then they're no longer kind of linked, if you will. But now they'll always be linked because they always move in tandem, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, you could watch me solve a live in the contest now. Okay, no silly mistakes. Take a little bit longer, that's fine. Um, beautiful. Okay, so N has to be even, and all the adjacent numbers are not the same. Or mm -mm, all the numbers to the right is not the same. Okay, so this is. Mm, okay. Oh, because it's odd. Mm, that's a little bit awkward, actually. Hmm. How do I do it? I think it's just greedy. <sighs> it's greedy. Be uh. It's greedy because it's just parody. Okay, fine. Um.
yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, this problem, whatever you like. I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health, and take care. Bye-bye.